What is up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another video regarding the Indoraptor in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and how I believe it should have been built up. So, lots of people have been calling this hybrid the most dangerous dinosaur to ever appear in the Jurassic Park franchise. That tops the Spinosaurus, the T-Rex, the Raptors, and the Indominus Rex. Now that may be correct in terms of the health of mankind, but a dinosaur hybrid such as the Indominus Rex seems far more dangerous to the ecosystem system and the planet. And I think the main reason behind that is because the Indominus Rex had more of a backstory. Before this hybrid eventually did escape, everybody there ranging from Dr. Henry Wu all the way to Claire Deering knew exactly how dangerous this dinosaur really was. So with Claire, Masrani, and Owen Grady talking about it, there seemed to be a lot more intensity and fear of letting this dinosaur run loose. Owen did a fantastic job of pointing out that crane and seeing how it fed the Indominus Rex. Of all the different things the Indominus Rex came across during the day, that single crane was the only positive relationship it had. That is one observation that always stuck out to me because when this dinosaur eventually did escape, it almost seemed to me that the IRX was angry at the world. Being trapped in a very small arena while human beings look at you and feed you, it is a horrendous life. All of this different dialogue, the glass breaking, the scratches on the wall, it just made the escape a lot more intense and terrifying. We felt like we sort of knew the Indominus Rex before it escaped, with the Indoraptor it was completely different. The timeline of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in my own opinion was very rushed. The first time we saw the Indoraptor in this movie was way after the halfway mark. And yes, they did talk about the Indoraptor and the Indominus Rex on multiple occasions. The prototype and militarized dinosaurs, it was very interesting, but it did not make the Indoraptor any more terrifying. Just take this for example, back in Jurassic World, they mentioned that the Indominus Rex ate its sibling. That showcased how savage and ruthless this dinosaur really was. In Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, there was originally a scene where the Indoraptor was playing with a human skull. Now for a moment, just imagine that sequence coming to life on the big screens. We have Mills and Wheaton walking up to the Indoraptor in a completely dark cage. No lights at all, just them walking up and talking. So the story that Mills was telling Wheaton in the scene goes as follows. The Indoraptor's cage was in darkness because the light burned out, and when a technician went in to replace it, they learned the hybrid needed three darts to be fully tranquilized, hence the remains of the technician's skull. Watching the tape back, they had learned that the Indoraptor has purposely broken the light. So that alone is absolutely terrifying just looking at an image. So if a scene like that was showcased in Jurassic Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, just imagine how terrifying the Indoraptor would be. One more concept that seemed to be tossed to the side was torture and abuse. We saw on the Indoraptor's face that it was clearly cut up and wounded, but despite that, there was not one mention or explanation as to why that happened. If they did abuse the Indoraptor and attempt to control it, why not showcase that? It would give a much better explanation as to why this dinosaur killed off multiple human beings after it did escape. All of that abuse and torture finally came out. Obviously though, this is something we cannot change now. It has been nearly 30 days since Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom came out, but write your opinions down below on this topic. Would you guys have liked to see more of a build-up and a backstory on the Indoraptor in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? If so, write your thoughts down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.